Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. I don't know if I did it last night, but rest in paradise to Melvin Van Peebles, man. A real one. Um, the father of Mario Van Peebles. Melvin Van Peebles was probably the first director, like one of the first black directors ever. That brother's gonna be missed. Um, I don't know off the top of my hand what movies he did. Um, you know, I'm still kind of tired. They be killing me at work. I'm so done with these people at work. But um, yeah. Melvin Van Peebles made create a lot of a lot of movies. Um, he's a pioneer, and see, it's it takes it takes for a black man to die for people to go back and to see what he has done. And this is what pisses me off. You got people trying to put Drake on pe legends like James Brown, Michael Jackson, Prince's level, and it's like, look, man. These guys aren't on that level. They would never reach that level because of what they brought, the things they did, the things that put them and separated them from the rest. Every time James Brown would come around, Elvis Presley would bow to the Don because he knew who the, who the king was. The king was James Brown. wasn't no damn Elvis Presley they try to say he the king he ain't the king of shit <laughs> king of messing with underage girls allegedly so this basically you know is a very sad time you know what I'm saying for this to happen and it's very sad but um, to go from there, what I wanted to talk about was, what I wanted to talk about was, I kind of lost my train. This is how you know you're, just, you're tired. You're just done with the whole week. I'm so done with this whole week, man. It's been a terrible week. Not too terrible because I was able to wake up wake up in the morning so when we look at what's going on like I didn't even I didn't speak on the Nicki Minaj thing because I already knew what was going to happen. I already knew that they were going to do something to tarnish her because she asked a question. You know. That's what they do. They get mad at when you ask questions about the, um, the, the, the vaccine or about different things when you question it. Us as people have always had questions about a multitude of things. Like, why are we in this system? Why are we programmed and conditioned to work a nine to five? We work our nine to five every damn day. And then we don't have time for ourselves. So some people are like, man, I'll just work my, I'll just, and this is how they trap you. They trap you with benefits. That's why they keep you coming back because you got benefits. Yeah, you yeah, it's the money, but you can make money. There's plenty of ways of making money. But they keep you coming back because of the benefits. If they did not have the benefits, people would not be coming to work. People would not be going to these nine to fives. Because you see, when you own your own business and you're doing your stuff, 
things are extra cost for you. You have to pay extra money for insurance and all of that. Whereas if you get it through your job, that comes out already. So the things is, is that they don't ever want you to question things. And then they pick the people they want you to celebrate. They pick the people they want you to look at. <laughs> look at how they do Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X. They try to put both of them against each other. They try to pit both of them against each other when they're talking about black history and all of this stuff. Because I remember my niece asked me, Uncle Harry, do you celebrate Black History Month? I said, I don't celebrate that shit. And you better not repeat me saying that word shit or I'm going to break my foot off your ass. <laughs> and she was like, okay, Uncle, okay, Uncle Harry. I don't. I don't celebrate that shit. People be talking about Cinco de Mayo. I'm like, man, Spanish people drink every day. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm going to pick a day just to get drunk. I drink every goddamn day. Every goddamn day I get drunk. <laughs> That's what you do. Talking about Cinco and this and that. Like, come on, man. It's like they disrespect. They, they, they disrespect people. And then they try to be all nice. Which is bullshit. My thing is this. There's free health insurance, health care in Canada. Yeah, you probably getting taxed in other things and other aspects, but dog, it's free health care. Free health care. And you mean to tell me we can't have that in America? You can't have free health care? You can't have none of that stuff? You know why? Because they don't care about us. We're nothing but science projects. They put foods out there. They put vaccines and diseases out there to see how we fare against it. Some people make it through it. Some don't. That's just how it goes. They've been doing this at the beginning of time. Now, I understand Judge Joe Brown. What he's saying is that, yeah, it's going to be some people that might not make it through it and that's that's the part of living that's the part of saving other lives well my thing is this why not save everybody why not try to save everybody why why is it so why are they enforcing it so much you see the thing is is that they have been experimenting on black people especially for millennia so that's why blacks are scared to go take the um, vaccine. That's why blacks don't want to take that shit. It's not because they don't want to live. It's because they want to live. And when somebody questions something, you guys get all up in uproar. See, Nicki Minaj has a million followers. So they had to shut her page down. So now they're basically going after the, um, the husband, bringing up his arm. Um, bringing up his case and what he did to the girl, which was true because he pled guilty to it. He pled guilty to it. Got, I think, four months, I think, four years. I think four years. Yeah, four years. My thing is this. Now y'all trying to come at Nikki because she's questioned the, the vaccine and stuff. She's right to question it. It's like you can't question nothing. If you question anything today or have your own mind of things, people call you stupid. People say you don't know what the hell you're talking about. People come laughing at what you put out, laughing at the page you put together because you know why they're laughing? Because they can't do it. They can't create content. They can't create it at a consistent basis. They can't come up with stuff. They don't know how to look at things and then you know go over it they, they don't know how to do that
They don't. And what if just pissed me off yesterday? It's like, really? So basically, this is Thor with no brother. He has, Lo Lo him and Loki grew up differently. Loki grew up with his family because um, the king of Asgard took him back, took him over there instead of raising him as his own. And then Thor was raised by himself. So Thor was, you know, acting like an idiot, wilding out as the only son. That's the only son, you know. Mom, she left. Frida, Frida was like, I'm going on a trip. Odin is sleep. Peace. And Thor went to go F things up. So the so basically Shield was trying to um take him out because Fury basically was there. They were having a party. One of the guys, I forgot his name. He's in all of the, um, damn near all the Thors, all the Marvel movies. He basically, he basically um, ran and ran Fury over, knocked him unconscious. So Fury's unconscious. <laughs> Fury's unconscious, you know, so now the actor is, the, you know, the next the, the one chick that's in line who looks like she ain't had no no dick in like a hundred years. That's how she looks like. <laughs> like she ain't had no fun. We got to take this Defcon. I'm going to use the beeper. So they called Captain Marvel. Thor and her were going at it and Thor beat her at the end. Jane basically, you know, he smoothed over Jane, but Jane called his mom to make sure she's straight. But, um, you know, he she ratted him out, but he fell in love with her right there. He wanted to um go out with her, you know, because she slipped up and said she loves him and all that. So their story then all of a sudden at the end, the watcher basically said it was like a fairy tale happy ending story. Now Thor almost pulled it off. <laughs> Thor had the classroom set up, had everybody there, like, mother, I'm teaching. I'm trying to get everybody in order. I'm like, this nigga Thor. <laughs> man, not Thor, man. I see, but this is what's funny. Thor was never like this. Thor was always the serious character. Like, Thor was very bland. Like, that's why nobody really talks about Thor in the Marvel Universe. Like, nobody really brings Thor up as one of the greatest Marvel, one of their favorite characters. Like, no. You know what I'm saying? It, nobody sees that. Like he's he's a in the comics he was he did some useful things now. You know, Thor wasn't weak like they tried to make him in um in the movies, but no. But Thor was having fun. And then um basically his mom's found out he got in trouble. So he got in trouble, so now. Thor basically was running like I gotta rush out of here you know so then you saw at the end I think it was Ultron or no I think it was Vision Vision of somebody had the the um Vision stone yeah yeah the, the time stone so I think it was Vision at the end or Ultron I think it was Ultron and Vision mixed as one they were finna basically I guess go to war and Thor was there ready to take them on so Watcher said oh I spoke too soon <laughs> the Watcher basically spoke too soon saying it was a happy ending but Captain Marvel looked out for Thor like when Thor was in trouble they all looked out for him and then one dude was like we're gonna use the nukes and she was like nope we don't need to use it dang we never use the nukes <laughs> I was with him I'm like man use the nuke I just wanted to see how much they'll destroy it. but I'm with T I'm with my brother Detroit T I wish the last episode we could have saw Wakanda mess the U.S. up. But, you know, like like I'm Christian, shout out to Christian in Detroit, T. Just like Christian said, oh yeah, shout out to El Chapo, the chef, and Joe Cool. And everybody, Nick, Jose, who did it this time, C. Penn, the usual suspects, you know who we are. 
shout out to Carcino Valley. That's that nigga named Cino Valley. So you know. But like um Christian said. Yo. And Christian finally didn't cap on this. He was telling the truth. That if they would have showed <clears throat> Wakanda whooping they ass. If they would have showed Wakanda destroying the U.S., that would get too many black people ideas. See, they don't want you to have ideas. Just like the money bag yo situation. Remember, money bag yo, I think his girlfriend bought him 28.8 acres for his birthday. And guess what? They put it on social media. They ain't put it on mainstream or nowhere. You know why? If Moneybag Yo would have robbed somebody and shot somebody on their acres, that would have been the headline. So, all you people out there, stop trying to tell us we're crazy when we're telling you the truth about what's going on. <clears throat> but Christian was absolutely right. They didn't want to show the last one of episode six of Wakanda destroying America. White folks would have been scared. They would have been in an outrage. Why would you show that? I'm just waiting on them to blow the White House up and everything. <laughs> they make like eight movies about the White House being destroyed. I'm like, go and destroy it. Actually, if they did that shit, I don't even think anybody would give get would care. Everybody would be like, good, blow that bitch up. They don't care. Nobody care about that shit, especially black folks. You try to go to black people like, you don't care? It's America. Like, look, man, I'm an American, but what the fuck has America done for me? I'm just a nigga who pay rent here. <laughs> and then they raise the prices on shit, and then they're, tech and they're taking away jobs, but they're raising the prices. It's like, come on, dog, stop it. world is so fucked up man and it is it's the whole world it's not even just america people talking about new world order i'm like look man i don't give a fuck if it's new old old republic new republic nigga we still broke <laughs> and we still niggas in this new world order, is niggas gonna get a level up in money and better jobs and better better um trades? Or we still gonna be getting treated like the like like we in the old system, which is the same. Damn true. I know one thing. I know one thing. If I keep hearing about the Jews being the Semitic people, the white Europeans, I'm going to yell. I'm going to just come out and say, Ah! Y'all not the Semitic people! Y'all not black! You motherfuckers white! <laughs> they going to be like, HD done went crazy! HD going crazy! He calling them crackers and everything! Fuck them crackers! You have a white boy. I remember I said, Fuck that cracker. My homeboy <laughs> in Florida white boy cool as fuck what up B Stewart he said man fuck them crackers too <laughs> I saw laughing like you right dog.
but you better not say the N word. I looked at his ass like, say it if you want to. Motherfuckers get too comfortable saying that shit. Too damn comfortable. Trying to come up to you and be like, what up, my, my, I wish you would say it. Say that motherfucker. <laughs> White people know. But see, white people say that shit, the pink folk, they say that shit when there ain't no niggas around. They know if we around and they say that shit, they know what'll happen. They know we'll pop their head. We'll pop their top quick. And that's true. Motherfuckers ask me, HD, is you prejudiced? I'm like, yep, show sure him. I do not like white people. <laughs> I do not like black people. I don't like Latinos or Latinas. I don't like any fucking body. <laughs> that's just facts. If the people you see that's on my stream yards, I fuck with them. You know, and, and people be like, man, like Christian and everything. I'm like, man, Christian cool. Christian just be trolling. I know Christian trolling. That's why I like to keep going at it with him because I know he's trolling. But I fuck with Christian and everybody on there. Who did it? C-Pen, all of them. Seahawks Jose and remember Seahawks Jose is on um, doing Monday night football this coming week he done muscled me for the Monday night so excuse me the following week after this Monday I'll be doing the Monday night so that's what will be happening we'll be switching off the Monday night games so yeah but thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash apping me at the word welcome, the number two, and then HDIITV. Thank you for listening. We out. Deezy.